and be forgiven of the only begotten Son, what else is it that you could have a desire of that he would not give to you? Everything comes through his Son. Amen? Yeah. It's not our worthiness, it's our unworthiness, but he is worthy. And I heard what the book of Revelation says. Worthy is the land. Cleansing from the foundation of the world. Amen? Amen, amen. At, at this time, we're going to, you know, give uh, a good tribute and recognition to uh, Elder uh, Samuel. Amen. And, and I, I, I believe she was what I call a, a lively person. Amen. Yeah, yeah. She, if I can say anything, she was a noisy person. Yeah. She might back out sometimes, and you ask, "What you said?" She said, "I ain't saying nothing." Amen. But she, she sure makes her noise. Amen. Yeah. And the Bible says, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land." And so when it says, "Come before the presence of," Singing and singing, giving, know that He is the Lord. And as He that made us and how, amen, we are the sheep of the pastor, amen. And, 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 and even sheep make noise, as quiet as they might be, with all the cushion that they have. They, they make noise, amen. And they tell me when the sheep get dirty, the sheep's going to make it noise. And, and I, I think somebody said, it, it, they be saying that they want to be clean. <laughs> Amen. God bless. If one of you all, amen, will come at this time for a tribute to uh, the AAC. Amen. Everybody don't have to come at the same time. But I know somebody will come to share in recognition. Amen. Y'all don't want me to stay up here all day because I have a lot I can say about her. Yeah. Uh, we, we were only about 20 years apart. Amen. And what we shared in our birthday celebration together, we just couldn't wait. We would uh, have a wonderful time just during the month of celebration, knowing that we were celebrating so close, so close together. And when it was time for me to celebrate on one uh, Sunday, she would celebrate on the next Sunday. And we just looked forward to uh, keep on making birthdays, amen? Amen. Because so she, she made a whole lot of, of birthdays. I think she made about 84 birthdays, amen? Yeah. So, so I'm coming up behind the rough side of the mountain, amen? Amen. 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 So now I'm on the 19th of March, amen? We was 20. Now, 19. She, see, she ain't making no birthdays no more. Every day is Sunday right. and Sabbath. Has no end. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I, 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 I started adding up how, how I was able to keep up with her. And then uh, my daddy was about, I think, eight years uh, older than uh, AC. Uh, dad was born in 1930, and AC was born in 1930. Amen? Is that right? Yes. I'm, I'm getting old. I need some help. Maybe sometime. I know how that is. Amen. But I, I admit to my shortcomings. Amen? Amen. All of us got jumped, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You keep on making birthdays like me and uh, uh, <coughs> Queen Elder. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In the show, in the show, get that what you wanted. Huh? Amen. It'll get that with you. Every day will be special. See, when you're young, you think every day just belongs to you. When you get old, you appreciate every day that's given to you. Amen. So at this time, you that would like to share uh, at this time. And I, I tell you, I, I think that uh, every day is a celebration for me because I celebrate Jesus. Amen? Amen. Um, yes, as well as on this day, for the 20 years that I've 
one that came before you. Of course, you know, I have to ask better your husband and I am. But like I say, I love her. You know, I love her strength. I love that she was a very God-fearing mother. You know, she showed us things um, in which, you know, how to, you know, priorities and morals. And, you know, I do understand, like, looking at people now, if defense not be still in you, then you are not. Sometimes we get mad at people when, you know, we think well, common sense should take to do certain things. But if you don't know something, you just don't, you don't know things, then you can't do it. So then I have to realize, you know, everybody was a thought and everybody was a brought up like you. And then I will say my grandmother was about family. My grandmother was a family person. She loved family. I can remember being young and all my grandmother's sisters, we would take on certain days and she brought us to all of her. So we all knew our family. Now, I can't say it happened the same way because I don't ever really remember none of those sisters coming to us, but I want them from the East Bank to the West Bank. My grandmother introduced us to our family. And you know, it's very important about that because a lot of times you don't know who the kids are. And I'll tell you, I mean, the food is right. One of my sons started dating his own cousin yeah. because he enjoyed with his family. Right. I mean, so what you think? He can't get mad because it's like, uh, well, hey, if I wasn't exposed to my family, how did I not have to do my family? So that's why he even needs to live there. At some point, you know, I realized that, okay, even with my own family, the same way. I'm always the one trying to call them to do this, let's do this together, we start thinking about this. You know, but then, you know, people have to sometimes tell me, and I have to realize, you are not your brother. And, you know, the things that, you know, were, you know, you were shown and told, everybody's not, you know, like it. Everybody don't stand on the same morals and values as, you know, you did because of this is your son. But, like I said, um, no matter what, um, I'm going to try to take you know, just like my grandma would say, live as long as I can, die when I can help, and I'm going to continue, you know, to try to, you know, stay in church, encourage, you know, the people around me. I mean, even if they, like they say, if you just get one to come, you're doing good. Um, so, after, um, I guess everyone may have some, you know, we have some, um, songs that, um, my grandmother, um, you know, loved it. Um, so just, you know, that was the way we were going to, you know, to decide to memorialize her. Um, I could have done a program, but y'all know my family, time is never on their side. They're not, you know, organized, no matter how I try. So I said, well, you know, y'all will just take it, you know, we can sing some songs in her honor, you know, because she loves the songs. Like I said, that's why I love songs. And I mean, she kept us in choirs, yeah. and I mean, even to, you know, now, I know that, you know, some people, one thing I, you know, respect about my grandmother, my grandmother was a disciple, and I always say I want to be just like that. You didn't, she didn't have to prepare. We could go to a church, and they'll say, well, uh, even now, you have to say, hey, you want to say what you want to do? Me? Okay. She get up and she just did. She didn't have to say, grab her on your book, and just, okay, let me just roll it. And I say, okay, I'm going to get the big ass child for about the last two weeks. And now you start to be looking at me like a prayer. Like, you know, let me sleep. I'm looking at all my songs, and I'm calling everybody to sing the same song. We have to be together. Everybody's going to sing a song. And they're like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, okay, well, we're going to get all sing together. Because I ain't no so much either. So, all right, but um, I guess we can let anyone else who may want to sing, you know, get into the project with someone. I love songs. And I'm, you know, just ask y'all to pray.
have more children with birth defects, more children with problems, and they call them DDs and ADSs and what you call it? ADHD. What is that? How or Amen. Amen. Well, it's because that we've let our guards down, our morals down. We've let our, uh, you know, uh, folk back then in 18, if she was here, she, she would tell you if the wrong is wrong, if the right is right, you can't take and get right out of room. I don't care how you do it. Amen? Amen. You can't take uh, a, a good tree and make it bad, and you can't take a bad tree. And, and why well, you can't take fresh water and get uh, salt water out of it, and you can't take yeah, y'all remember a few days ago we had salt water coming over with a fresh water? It was creating a problem, wasn't it? I believe the whole city was on alert. You know that thing they have an amber alert? We had another kind of alert. They said it's going to be a few days the salt was going to take over the water. Amen? And it was an alert, wasn't it? But I tell you, we ought to have that same kind of alert to get our morals and our values back instilled in our families. Amen? We ought to find that same kind of alert. Because it is that that causes the family to produce better fruit. Amen. 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 To be stronger trees. Amen. Amen. If you don't mind, take your Bible and turn it out. I, I, I'm going to be as long as the Lord allowed me to. I don't know. I've been standing up all morning. But I believe that God has given me strength. Amen. Amen. Uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter number 10, verse 38, if you will, when you get it. If you don't mind, stand to your feet. And somebody will give it an hour by the let me know what it says now. I say again this morning that the Lord is good, his mercy is new every morning. Amen. Brand new mercy. Brand new mercy, brand new grace. And thank God it's brand new because we showed me some new mercy this morning. Amen. And I, I remember years ago when uh, A.T. walked into the house and I, I looked at A.T. and uh, I was over at the at this funeral and when A.T. walked in the house I said it's preaching time. Amen. Whenever A.T. walked in the house I know it's, it's preaching time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And one thing that she loved, and that was the word of God. She would come to Bible class and she said, Pastor, we ain't never been taught that before. Well, I, I was never teaching it before, but I didn't never know it. Amen. But when God opened our eyes and allowed us to see some things, amen, I, I believe it causes uh, the blind to see. Amen. Through the eyes of the word. And that's what the young man, when he sung the song, Lord, let me see you through the eyes of my heart. Amen. Amen. And that's the way we need to see it. Amen. Through our heart. Amen. Uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter number 10, verse number 38. It says, Night came to pass as they went. And he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was crumbled about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister? Has left me to serve alone. Bid her, therefore, that she helped me. And Jesus there said to her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary had chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from heart. Father, I pray that you speak to us today. That your word would flow and move. And uh, it used to be that our parents would say that it would move from heart to heart and from breath to breath. But allow me enough to flow and move. Allow your word to flow. 
Allow your understanding to flow. Allow your wisdom to flow. Allow your spirit to flow. Let it reach us to wherever we are. And we're going to pray. I'm a confession in Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. I also, before I go too far, I want to also recognize the children of children that are not here. Amen. And I believe that they might not be here, but they honor their mother as well. Amen. Amen. Think of that. Chantel. Amen. Uh, Nathan. Uh, Stephanie. Amen. Amen. I believe they honor their they mother as well. Amen. I don't believe no child that don't love their mama. Amen. And it's not my mama go out the way to do some things and hope that everybody else don't know it. Amen. 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 What happens is sometimes it shows a little, you know, a little jealousy, and then everybody get their point. Well, Mama, you gave him last time. Amen. But this morning, I want to talk to you about. Amen. Choose the good part. Choose the good part. <laughs> Choose the. The good part, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I used to think the chicken was the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I found out the chicken is not the chicken. Because everybody has their favorite part. <laughs> yeah. 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 You ever been inside and you wait until it was finished and done, and when you got inside, somebody had picked the piece that you wanted. <laughs> well, what, what you do, Charles? You just turn around and go to Popeye, don't you? Amen. <laughs> Y'all know that was my piece of chicken, and sometimes folks know it's the piece that you like. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're giving it on purpose to see how much you <laughs> how much you like it. Now I, I said that because I I, I, I don't know about uh, Larry, but I, I believe y'all that y'all went in there and somebody had to got his piece of chicken. I believe Papa ain't for it to cross the river. And they're kind of thinking about it all the way over it, that they knew better than the grass. But I, I tell you, I found out from years ago that when, when we were young, and and after uh, Rev had finished at church and he was on the way to visit a house, uh, they would cook, and, and no Rev was coming, and they said. Well, y'all wait till Rev get here before you eat. Amen? And you know, if it was only one chicken, and chicken they had for two legs, two breasts, two thighs, one bag, somebody was going to be in trouble. <laughs> and if it was too many folks in the machine, the chicken feet was all the way down. <laughs> Martha house. Now, 
if his mother's house and Mary is living there, it means that Martha is in control of the house. Huh? And I thought about something because uh, AT, yeah, was mama at the house, but she was a cook at the house, but she wasn't the cook. <laughs> come on, somebody help me now. Amen. She was a cook. And she could she could kind of pitch in for the cook, but she wasn't the cook. So she knew that she wasn't the cook. So she was able to choose another part. Yeah. <laughs> I love you know. Ain't that something? So so this it was Martha. Y'all read that verse for uh from verse 38 and 39. It says that Martha received Jesus into her house. Do y'all see that? Is that what it says? It didn't say Mary and Martha, but it says Martha received Jesus into her home. Amen? And she invited him as an invited guest, and Mary felt that if he was an invited guest, and she living in the house that he was invited to, but then Martha was responsible for the cooking. <laughs> but Martha, how how is it that when when you know you got yes and in your house, you make sure the meal is fit down, everything is prepared, placed on the table. But 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 AT was not concerned so much about the cooking. Amen. Uh, Mary was not concerned so much about the cooking. She left the cooking, and watch this, watch this, watch this. She not only left the cooking of the Martha, but if you don't mind, allow me to look into something else. She left Martha with the cooking, the water. Oh, come on. She said, Martha, beloved, it's one thing for me to help you. Amen. But it's another thing for you to demand the help out of me. Amen? She said, we have company and somebody has to entertain. <laughs> somebody got to entertain the company. Martha finds herself there. Martha says, Mary. No. Mary. And you know, you know, some folks can call you, and they will pierce your heart when they call you. You know, Mary. You know, and 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 Martha was in the kitchen cooking. Martha was in the kitchen baking. Martha was in the kitchen getting ready. And tell me, Jesus was sitting in another place, and Mary was sitting at. Jesus, peace. <laughs> and everything Jesus said, Mary was soaking it. Uh, amen. Mary wasn't squeaking. Mary wasn't making no noise. But Martha recognized that Mary wasn't doing no work. <laughs> Most bosses like to hear, all oh, help me in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, y'all. I ain't gonna go for it, y'all. So I ain't got, I ain't got much gas. Amen. <laughs> but Mary sat there while Martha may have. Now you only gonna eat so much. Martha didn't have one of these air fryers. So whatever she was cooking took a while. Amen? It took a while. And if she just got started, she's too late. Because Jesus is already in the house. Amen? So Martha, she wanted to spoon. She and when the food is cooking on the stove, in the between, she's stirring 
John 11 uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bring it too far, but I want to bring it as far as I can. She was cooking and missed the meal. Uh, John 11, two me. Now, let me go to verse 24. 24 says, Martha said unto him, I know that my brother, he shall rise again in the resurrection and in the last day. She was so worried about the sweet potatoes. She was so worried about the carrots. Yeah, she missed the fact that he said in verse 25, he said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. <laughs> Look what he said. Go to verse 26. Whosoever and whosoever liveth and believeth in me, what what what? Do you believe, Martha? You got enough time that if I was even you and me, you got enough time to cook. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, Mary and children, the good part. Go to Luke 1 and 35. What's the good point? Amen. Luke, Luke 1 and 35. Somebody, you get it? You, you share with me sometimes. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. And the power of the highest shall overcarry thee. Therefore, also, the holy king, which shall be born of thee, shall be called the son of God. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Martha in the kitchen with the pot. <laughs> Mary sit down, listening to what the son, and sometimes we can get all twisted because we feel that the pot got to be first. Amen? And what he says, if you seek first, yeah. He said, you don't have to worry about this. You know what I mean here tell Martha right now? Say, Martha, if you put him first, he don't have somebody else to bring you. That's already cooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go to John 15. He said, Jesus. She said a mouthful. John, John, John 15. Yes, no? Go to 15 and 1. Come on, here. John 15 and 1. Now, 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 Martha. <laughs> Martha cooking and Mary is eating. <laughs> Martha cooking, Mary is, yeah, and, and you know, look, look, look what she's doing, Jack. Uh, Jesus, tell Mary, Martha, Martha said, tell Mary to come. Mary said, <laughs>
15 and 1, I can't get me. Kind of got my lips. John 15 and 1, I am the true vine. My father is the husbandman. Every branch of me that bear not fruit is taken away. Every branch that bear fruit is purged, that it may bring forth. Oh, come on, y'all. You know what he just said? He just said, Mary Cup will never be him. Because she connected. I don't care how much she eats. And the reason why she would never be full, I mean, never be empty or thirsty, because he is the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, are y'all hear this? Martha in there, they're in the pot. And Mary sitting in there, eating the food. Ooh. After she finished cooking, she ain't no more eating. Huh? But the thing that I want us to see is that Mary chose the good part. Mary cooked. Mary can cook. But Martha was the cook. And Mary was eating what was being cooked. Good Lord Almighty. How many of us find ourselves thinking that we can provide what we need on our own? And look, y'all ever got what you wanted so bad, and then when you got it, you didn't want it? Mary said, Mother, what I'm getting, I want. What I'm getting, I need. And the Bible said, Mary can stay there at the feet of Jesus. I don't care how much noise Martha made. She stayed right there. And she heard every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And let me tell you something. Mary wasn't, Mary wasn't threatened by Martha and said, Girl, if you don't get in here, you ain't going to eat. She said, if you don't stop so I can finish eating. Yeah. Let me tell you what John said. In the book of Revelation, John says, he asked that he be given the whole road. What did he say? He said, Lord, give me the whole word. Give me everything that you got to say. Everything that I need. Give me, give me. He said it was bitter going down, but it was sweet on the inside. How, how, how many of y'all know sometimes what God has to say to us ain't that good? Good, but it's good. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the Bible said one day David was watching his father's sheep. The lion came and he was hungry. Evidently he was hungry because he picked up one of the sheep. And the Bible said, David said, not these sheep. These sheep belong. Oh, somebody on the shout in here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> not these sheep. These sheep belong to God. These sheep are under the covenant of God. These yeah. sheep are up under God's anointing. These sheep are up under God's word. David went over by the lion and grabbed him by the chin. He said, Brother, I understand that you're the king, but this ain't the jungle. He said, This is God's territory. Amen? He grabbed the lion, made him turn loose the sheep, but David didn't let the lion go. The Bible said he slew the lion and killed him instead of him killing the sheep. Then the Bible said that the bear came by, but he didn't get the word of the music. If he had got the word, he wouldn't have stopped on God's ground. He wouldn't have stopped God's people. He wouldn't have stopped around God's children. He didn't get the memo. So he came, said that I'm looking for my buddy, the lion. I know he was here somewhere, but on the process, I'm looking for something to eat. And he went and grabbed one of the little sheep. Amen. And he, he, 
he again is greater and taller and bigger. And the Bible said, David said, man, what would you do? Where you, where you from? What you, what you doing to these parts? He done grabbed one of Jesse's little bit of lamb. And, and David said, I can't go back and tell my daddy that that the that, that, that bear is not his lamb. He said, man, you got to turn that lamb loose. Ain't that something? I'm telling y'all something this morning. If you belong to God, yeah, He won't allow you to be soup for somebody else. Do you hear what I'm saying? He won't allow the enemy to chop you up and tear you apart. I would say Martha couldn't get her arms around her. The word of God. And Mary couldn't get her arms from the line to see the truth. And I tell you today, if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, you can build your hope on things. When the storm of life is breathing, and the billows are tossed and high. The Bible says you can be like a tree. Psalm number one, planted right by the river of water. Yeah, the wind may blow, the storm may rise, but I want to tell you, hold on to God. We see we use it. Oh, you can make fun of the old preacher said, hold on to God and take your hand. But don't you know that God's holding your hand? The Bible says the devil, neither him, can take you out of the palm. And I want to tell you, I did say, my name is written in the palm of his hand. Says he again. I recognize, I recommend, and I say to you today, choose the good one. And, and, and she said she could cook, but she wouldn't the cook. But since she wasn't the cook, she chose the other part. And here's what she said. Any man that takes his hand and puts to the plot and turns back ain't no good cook because he ain't fit for the kingdom of God. But he that is faithful until death, God will give you a crown of life. And the only one who can give that to you is the one that is the righteous judge that's got the crown. Amen? Amen. Amen. God, only you know what, only you know who, only you know when, where, and how. But the one thing we do know that you are the good that we choose. And everything that is in you is good. And even when somebody asks and declares good matter, and you say to them only one good, and that's the Father. And I want to thank you because you said that, because you are the Father. <laughs> and the Father is in you. Yes, yeah. you are the Son, and the Father is in you. You are the Holy Spirit, and the Father is in you. And so today, we and cry out to you. Because many times we choose to do good, and evil always show up. God help us to be able to make the right choice, to choose the right path, and go the right way. Speak to us on this day, God, that we not only celebrate her life, 
But most of we celebrate your life. Yes. That you not only give to her, but you gave to us. And you said, if we are in you, and you and us, we can't die. The spirit can't die. The soul will not die. But we all will return back to you. And you will declare whether we will live with you or without you. So I pray today, have your way in this house and place. In our heart, we shall learn to be you. She will say, Amen. Amen. Before we leave, that anybody want to share a word of asking God to forgive you? Asking God for your story. Amen. I, I thank God for everybody is, but I don't want nobody to leave that's not. Amen. Amen. Amen.